folks, it's Sarah with Obadiah's and today I am going to do a general product overview for you guys on, this is the Fire Belly Raisin. So I'm really excited to do this video for you guys because this product we've been talking about for years and years and it is just now finally available in the North American market. Um, this stove is both UL and ULC listed for North America. So that includes the United States and Canada. So this particular stove is going to be primarily stainless steel. So this is going to be a full stainless steel cooktop. The sides of the stove are finished in stainless steel. You do have stainless steel door frames on the exterior of the glass. Um, when you open up the inside of the stove here, this portion of the stove is just going to be a basic steel. So the full stove is not stainless steel. Um, we have fully gasketed doors here on the firebox. Um, this is a good, nice gasket material. I like this type because it holds up better overall with the length of time um, and it doesn't fray out like some of the cheaper gaskets do. Inside the firebox, it is going to be a refractory lined brick um, on the sides and on the rear. On the bottom of the firebox, you do just have standard fire brick. Um, so this is basically just a standard size that you can get anywhere. So that's pretty handy, especially because the bottom bricks are usually the ones that are going to go out first. Um, this does have a nice rail in here on the interior of the firebox that helps protect the inner vermiculite refractories. Your ash pan is located directly inside the firebox. This is actually a pretty cool design because it sits right underneath and it pulls right out. Um, your log stopper located here in the front is removable. Uh, so basically when it comes time to cleaning out your firebox, you would essentially just take this, scrape your ashes to the front, boom, pull out your pan, and you're good to go. Um, this is a fairly nice size pan, ash pan, so you should be able to go, I would say, quite a while, maybe up to two weeks before you need to clean out your ashes depending on how frequently you use the stove. Um, inside the oven here, again, you do have a fully gasketed oven door. Um, you do have stainless steel panels and two stainless steel racks that come standard inside the unit. Um, I do want to point out there is like this fireproof material at the bottom of the oven and that is supposed to stay there. Um, when I first got there it almost kind of looks like a papery material. It is fireproof, it's meant to be there, so leave that object in place. Um, you do just actually have two damper controls. Only one of the damper controls is actually going to be built into the stove. Um, this is going to be your primary air control, so for your firebox, because it comes in from the top of the unit, that's also what's going to be your air wash, which is going to keep your glass burning nice and clean. Now to activate your oven control, your oven control is actually going to be located directly on the flue collar itself. So this right here, this handle, is how you activate and deactivate your oven control. Um, something to point out on this particular stove, obviously this damper control that's built into the flue is a crucial component of this stove because without this damper control you can't control the heat flow around the oven. So this particular stove is tested and approved with ICC chimney pipe. Um, so this double wall adapter here, this is ICC and then remember with double wall chimney you have to keep the same brand all the way through. So when you're purchasing this stove, if you don't already have an ICC chimney, then you will need to purchase that for the correct function of this stove. So again, this stove is imported um, from the UK, from England actually. Uh, so the English are definitely very prideful people known to produce quality product. So I'm really excited to burn this stove for you guys and dig into it a little bit further. Don't forget to check out our other videos that go into more detail on this product. If you like our videos, please don't forget 
give us a thumbs up and share them with the with your friends. Um, share them on Facebook, share them on YouTube. The more likes, the more shares, and the more subscribers we get, the more videos I'll continue to produce. Thanks for watching, y'all. God bless, and have a wonderful day.